After moving to the starting positions, first turn and face the kamiza and bow 30 degrees. Then turn and face each other and bow to each other at 15 degrees, keeping eye contact. Insert the katana or hold the bokuto at the left waist and lock the tsuba with your left thumb. When using a bokuto, swap hands and hold it with the left hand at the waist whilst pressing on the tsuba with the left thumb. Uchitachi and Shidachi advance three large steps and draw their swords while going down into the Sonkyo crouching position, not before. Draw the blade down from the diagonal left. In Sonkyo, the right foot should be a little bit in front of the left and the body turns slightly uh, to the side, to the right in Migi Shizentai. Bring the left foot up to the right while crouching down into Sonkyo. Both swords should cross at the yokote section of the blade that's right at the tip. The first cutter represents the first stage in kendo study. That's refining and tempering the self, seeking mastery through exposing body and soul to unfathomable austerity and the ability to sacrifice one's whole being into the cut or stemi. Both uchitachi and shidachi assume jodan no kamae, the posture which is known as the heaven or fire kamae, with the sword tips both pointing upwards. Now this signifies that both are firm in their convictions and neither is more right or wrong than the other. The first of the kendo kata thus is illustrative of the first stage of mastering the way of kendo through cultivating the technical skill and mindset needed to enforce one's convictions of righteousness. Uchitachi assumes morote hidari jodan, or two-handed left jodan, and Shidachi takes morote migi jodan, that's two-handed right jodan. Now, jodan is the kamai of fire or heaven, so both sides assume the stance with confidence while breathing in and holding that breath in the gut. So the gut is tense, but the shoulders are relaxed. Uchitachi steps out from the left foot and Shidachi from the right as they advance towards each other with three bold steps. Now when the correct interval for engagement is reached, Uchitachi pauses for a nanosecond, then seizes the opportunity, that's called Kiyomite, to strike Shoman while stepping forward with the right foot. As stepping back from the left foot, Shidachi moves their whole body out of the way while retracting both hands to evade Uchitachi's sword. Then Shidachi moves forward from the right foot and returns a cut to Uchitachi's shoman. Leaving the Kensen in Gedan, Uchitachi moves back one small step with Okuriyashi. But Shidachi continues to apply pressure on Uchitachi by dropping the Kensen down and pointing it between their eyes. Then, as Uchitachi takes one more small step back, Shidachi steps out with the left foot and assumes morote hidari jodan to demonstrate zanshin. When Uchitachi begins to lift the kensen up slowly from gedan into chudan, Shidachi draws the left foot back and brings the sword down from jodan into chudan. Then both lower the kensen down and return to the starting positions. <music> uh. 
Uchitachi steps out with the left foot into Hidari Morote Jodan. The left hand is one fist above the left side of the head and pretty much directly above the left foot. Now the Kensen is pointing back slightly to the right and the blade is on a 45 degree angle. Now with Shidachi, the sword is lifted straight up, so the Kensen is on the center line. This is uh, Uchitachi and this is Shidachi. Um, still with Uchitachi, even though it's on the center line, looked at from the side, the blade is on a 45 degree angle. Both then take three bold steps in without bobbing up and down. Kiyomite, the striking opportunity, is the opening that is created through the shifts in body, spirit and technique. Now, Uchitachi has the responsibility of teaching Shidachi what ideal striking opportunities are. Thus, the strike should not be made too early or too late, but just as Shidachi is primed and on the verge of attacking. It's important that Uchitachi's attack is executed with the intention of cutting right through the tsuka of Shidachi's sword. That's through the hands, hilt and body. Don't drop the Kensen back first. Strike from the Jordan position without a wind-up. Yeah. The upper body ends up on a slight forward incline after making the attack because Uchitachi misses, but the incline is not too exaggerated. Eye contact is never lost. Shidachi moves from the left foot, bringing the right foot back with it, the sword is pulled up in the direction the Kensen is pointing at the same time. Now the evasion, or nuki, and counter cut should occur in a count of one. Not one, two, but... Oh! One movement like that. Make sure to cut with the mono uchi on the target. So this is too high. Obviously don't actually cut uchi tachi, because that hurts. Okay, it should be as close as possible, not too deep, not too shallow, with the mono uchi right on the target. After the cut, Uchitachi moves back one small step, then another, feeling overpowered by Shidachi. The distance for each step depends on positioning. Okay, it's not set in, you know, how many centimeters, just enough, two small steps so that you basically end up back where you started the attack right at that kiyomite position. Uchitachi remains on a forward incline when retreating. After applying pressure between Uchitachi's eyes as if about to thrust at them, Shidachi then assumes morote hidari jodan to demonstrate zanshin. Even though the result has been decided in the encounter, both Uchitachi and Shidachi should always be ready mentally and physically to react to anything. This is Zanshin. Straighten the upper body as Chudan no Kamae is resumed. And then it's Kamae o Tok. That's when both lower the Kensen down to just below knee height. Not pointing at the center of the body, but off to the body line like this. Okay, and the Kensen should be just below knee height. Both then return to Tachiai no Mai, or nine paces apart. That's the face-off interval, with 5.5 steps back. So it goes something like this from the left foot. One, two, three, four, five and a half. Back like that. Okay, 5.5 steps.